This is the rock, paper, scissors machine Peck was talking about. Okay, Ryan, I challenge you to rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, hey everyone. We've been watching some old videos and we came across this really awesome one where Bree made a DIY rock, paper, scissors machine for Ryan. Oh man, these machines are so cool. I wish I could go back in time and just play with them. Wait, that gives me an idea. Oh, oh, oh. Here it is, Peck's time travel machine. <gasps> and here are the time watches. <laughs> Apparently, all we have to do is type in the name of the video we want to visit, and then the machine will just zap us there. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure Peck won't mind if we borrow his time travel machine for a little while. Three, two, one, time travel machine, go! Welcome to Ryan's world. A plate of fruits. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, well, I like carrots. They're good for your eyes. We did it. We time traveled. Now we get to see Bree's rock, paper, scissors machine up close. Oh, this is so cool. I can't let them hear us. If we alter the past, we could change our future. Let's just watch. Okay, sorry. Well, I'm gonna pick grapes. Okay, well, I like peach. <gasps> There's only one left. Mm. Oh, no, Ryan! Oh, oh no, there's only one apple, what should we do? Maybe we can ask Peck. <gasps> Peck? Hey Peck, we need your help. We gotta decide who's gonna get the last apple. It's probably gonna be me. The last apple? Hmm. Aha! I have an idea. I will build a rock, paper, scissors machine for you. And then the apple will go to the winner. <laughs> okay, Peck. I can't wait to see how this machine you're talking about is going to look like. Hey, Ryan! We have to wait! <laughs> Whoa, with this color and how shiny it is, this thing has got to be worth so much money. <gasps> Ooh. We got another experiment to build. Pack! Ah. Wait, what about an experiment? It's time to build a rock, paper, scissors machine. A paper, rock, scissors machine? Hmm, it's rock, paper, scissors, but yeah. Do you know how to build one? Hmm, well, a paper, rock, scissors machine could be pretty cool, but we're gonna need a lot of materials. So we're gonna need things like cardboard, glue, rubber bands, sticks, and straight lines are always fun, so we definitely need a ruler. But that's a really long list of stuff. Where are we gonna get all this from? Whoa, that's everything we need. That's convenient. Yeah, I got all the stuff. <laughs> now what do we do? Whoa, great job, Peck. Now to get started, we are gonna use this box. We'll get that later. Now we're gonna cut up our cardboard, which will give us yeah, something flat like this. And with this, we're going to trace and cut out all of our shapes. First, we're gonna measure and draw all the pieces that make up the outside of our machine. Once we finish that, we have to draw all the little ones that go on the inside. Now it's time to punch out all of our parts. Let's see. Uh, well, it's kind of working. Bink, 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 bink. Eh. And one last one. Eh. Well, <laughs> let's start gluing the pieces now. Hmm, you will need an adult's help for this part. It looks really good, but now we need the little spinny tubey thingies. Oh, those are called the reels. But you know, I think I have the perfect idea for the spinny tubey thingies. I think we could use this roll of paper towels. It's already pretty much shaped like it, but I'm gonna get all these paper towels off. Woohoohoo! Look at it go! Haha, <laughs> yeah! Woohoohoohoo! Oops. 
We want our reels to be the exact same size. So we're gonna measure very carefully. And we're gonna make sure we cut straight. Whew. Now that that's done, we just have to make our circles. I found this cap lying around and it's the perfect size. Oops. All right, well we have all four of our circles. Now we just have to put them in here and then we're just gonna glue it into place. That looks good and dry, it's nice and strong, but we need something to help our reel spin like that. I have the perfect idea. We're gonna use this really pretty border paper. We're gonna wrap it around like this, and I think that's gonna help a lot. Let's get started. We need to measure and cut our border paper. Once we cut it nice and straight, then all we have to do is wrap it around our reel and glue it in place. We have to glue up the orange gears so they can become extra sturdy. <laughs> All right, now everything is nice and dry. Our fingers aren't sticking to it. It's nice and hard. We're gonna take our stick and we're gonna try our best to get it all the way through. Now we just set it in place in our machine. Put the other side here to hold it in and we just glue this guy together. Now this part can be very tricky. You need to leave enough space for your reels to spin, but not too much space or they'll fall off. So after everything is glued into place, you should be able to do something like this. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Soon, my plans will be complete. I'll be finally able to win in rock, paper, scissors. For generations, our family has only been able to throw paper. But with your smarts pack, I think you'll be the one to be able to change our fate. <coughs> Looks like all the glue is dry and it's spinning great. Looks like it could use a lever to help make it spin. These giant popsicle sticks are gonna work great, thanks to Peck. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Feel free to stop on by Peck's premium popsicle stand, where we sell discounted popsicles at premium prices. Yeah, yeah, um, the only thing about these popsicle sticks are they're a little boring. I think we need to add some color. Yeah, color, pow, ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, magic pink. Now we're gonna make the part that spins the reel. All we need is a circle, cut into four pieces, and then we're gonna make it 3D, kinda like a piece of pie. Once we have that all hot, glued, and dried, we are gonna put the same border paper that we put on our reels. Once we get that glued into place, we're gonna stiffen it with super glue, and it should look something like this. Ooh, this looks complicated. Whoa. And that's why you have an adult, Peck. Ooh, ah. All right, Peck, so we got our levers in place. We used just little sticks to hold them in place. Now is gonna be the tricky part. We're gonna have to attach these little tiny gears to the lever, so when you pick the lever up, it spins the reel like that. Now this rubber band has a very important job and our machine wouldn't work without it. It puts a lot of tension on the lever when you pull it down, so when you let it go, it spins the reel. The levers are in place and they're working. Yay! What's next, Bree? Oh, well, all we have left to do is just build the cover. Conveniently, I have it all drawn out here, so we just gotta pop it out. And here we go! Hey oh. <laughs> now this one has a lot of holes in it, so we gotta punch them out. There you go. So now that we have our cover put on, we can just put this whole thing together. Wait a second. Before we can put the cover on, we have to turn this into paper, rock, scissors. <gasps> That's where these guys come in handy. We've got rock, paper, and scissors. So we're just gonna glue them on like this. The most important part about this step is to make sure that your hands are facing each other. Otherwise, who are you playing? <laughs> Now we're just gonna glue the outside pieces of our machine and the front cover. <gasps> wow, it's really coming together. And we can not forget oh, rock, paper, So and that's how scissors. she built it. <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors machine is complete. Now, let's decorate. Some decorations? My favorite part. There it is. We have red versus blue. Boom. Woohoo! Hey, um, you 
before we give it to Ryan, I should, um, test it out again. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. Peck, what is this? Is this your rock, paper, scissors machine? Yeah, <laughs> and I challenge you, Daniel. Oh, tired of losing. Well, let's go. Good luck, grandson. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Paper! <laughs> and it's me, Scissors! And I will defeat you, Paper! <laughs> oh man! Good job, Peck! Man, this machine is really cool! Yeah, but I gotta send it to Ryan! Bye! Okay, well, bye, Peck! Oh, I hope Peck hurries up! I really want that apple! Yeah! <gasps> Whoa! This is the rock, paper, scissors machine Peck was talking about. Okay, Ryan, I challenge you to rock, paper, scissor. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <gasps> Who won? Who won? I got rock and you got paper. No! Yay! Paper beats rock. That's right. I got one point. Let's try it again, Ryan. <gasps> what is it, Ryan? I think you got scissors and I got rock. <gasps> so I have scissors and you have rock. Wait, who won? I do. Oh, okay, so it's a tie. Last one, Ryan. Three, two, one. <gasps> what is it? Okay, so I got scissors. Oh no, and you the got video's paper. almost over and we haven't gotten the chance to play with the rock, paper, scissors machine yet. I know. But maybe we can borrow it and take it back with us to the present, and then when we're done playing with it, we can return it. I don't know, Josh. Yoink! Yay! <gasps> oh, this is amazing! <laughs> yeah, the only thing better than watching the videos is living them! <gasps> Which one should we visit next? Oh, how about the DIY pinball machine? <gasps> you got it! Coming right up. Okay guys, I need your help. So, Ryan's birthday is coming up and I wanna give him something special, you know, something DIY, you know, do it yourself. And I've been trying all day and this is the best I can do, right? I mean, it's pretty cute, but I think we can do better. So, what do I do? Wait. Combo, right? Combo is almost like Ryan's best friend. So Combo would know exactly what Ryan wants, right? Okay, Combo, are you there? Combo! Hi, Combo Bunga! Okay, hi Combo! So I really need your help, okay? So I'm looking for a really fun DIY present to surprise Ryan. His birthday's coming up. Birthday? Oh, uh, I knew that. <laughs> <gasps> okay, well, th th I have this so far. What do you think? Um, it's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> it's cute, right? But I know you're like best friend, so can you come up with a fun DIY gift for Ryan? A DIY gift? I know exactly what to build. <gasps> okay, I can't wait. <sighs> it's going to be good. Now, where oh, did oh, Bree go? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey, Combo. I found all the cardboard I could possibly find in the office. Uh, what do you need this much cardboard for? Because I'm going to build the best DIY pinball machine ever! Oh, so that's why you need all the cardboard. Uh, how do we get started? First, I will need you to trace out the face plates, bumpers, and a backboard. Huh, huh, perfect. <laughs> uh, what's next? Next, we have to cut out the pieces. With adult supervision, of course. I got my scissors, now it's time to cut some cardboard. Oh, nice! We get to witness even more of Bree's handiwork. <laughs> there! <laughs> Didn't you even do anything? It looks the same. A combo, it's not the same. <laughs> See? All right, all the pieces are out. Uh, but Combo, don't you think it needs some decoration? We don't have time for that. And 
done. Great job, Bree. Now it's time for me to go find the ultimate ball for our pinball machine. Later, Bree. Bye, Kongu. Huh, so where do we start? Well, I feel like the most important part of a pinball machine are the flippers, right? Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> well, we need to find a way to make these work. I think we can make a control using popsicle sticks, some cardboard, uh, a stick, and some rubber bands. Let's test it out. <gasps> all right, so we just finished building all of our materials for our flipper mechanism. Now it's time to put it together. So we are gonna start by gluing little strips of cardboard that's gonna act as the housing for our popsicle sticks. Now our popsicle sticks are going to be the controls for our flippers. Remember kids, when using things like hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. Now we're going to put on our flippers and start our mechanism. Our mechanism is just cardboard, sticks, and rubber bands. The rubber bands will work in the mechanism to provide tension to the controls so that they operate like this. Which will make the flippers go up and down and allow for us to play our pinball machine. We are going to use two rubber bands, one to connect our mechanism to our popsicle stick and the other to connect our popsicle stick to the housing. Now this is going to apply tension in opposite directions, which is going to make our flipper work. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that we have everything assembled, let's test out our mechanisms. Now that we got our flippers working, we can glue on our sides. Uh, like that. The most important part is to make sure that we glue our side on nice and straight. Now that the sides are all dry, we can glue on the back plate. And with the back plate in place, we can glue on the bumpers. Bumper number one. And bumper number two. Perfect. Now we're going to construct a bottom border using cardboard. Now this is going to help direct our pinball downward and into the ball return. And it'll help our pinball not get stuck. We're going to need to construct a side for the left and a side for the right, as well as our ball return. And when we're finished with that, we can put on our front plate. By using cardboard, popsicle sticks, and wooden dowels, we're gonna make our ball launcher. So the first step is we're gonna put our dowel in so we can kind of line it up. And then we're going to glue in our cardboard pieces, which are gonna keep it straight so that the ball doesn't go all wonky on the side. That looks good. And on to number two. Make sure it's lined up and glued into place. These popsicle sticks are actually going to be what holds our rubber band and provides tension to help the ball launch forward. So we're gonna glue those into place. And we have one for each side. Next, we're gonna glue on the top of our ball launcher. A dab of glue, and then we're gonna carefully put it in place. Just like that. I attached rubber bands to both sides and the ball launcher. I used three rubber bands to provide more tension and give us more ball launch. Cool, it's really starting to look like a pinball machine. So now we're gonna add our obbies all over the board, just like this. So using these bright colorful thumbtacks will be a fun way to make an obby for our ball that can bounce back and forth. Then I'm going to make some really fun windmills out of just wooden dowels, drinking straws, and small little popsicle sticks. Finally, we're gonna build our bumpers. We're just using small dowels and small rubber bands in the shape of a triangle. By placing our rubber bands around the dowels, this will give us the tension needed to be a good bumper and bounce the ball back. And there. Now we're ready to test it out. If Combo would just hurry up and get back. Combo? Oh. Whoa, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, I found the perfect one. It's really bouncy. Let's test it out. Sure, let's do it. Whoa, yeah, you got this. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I can't believe how good that design on the pinball machine is. Look. It says combo ball. Bing, ding, ding. Bing, bing. Bing. Ah, 
Don't you guys love the smell of flowers? Oh, hey, Combo! <laughs> All of our hard work paid off! We made the ultimate DIY pinball machine! <gasps> you made it already? I can't wait! Okay, okay, I'm gonna clear some space. Okay. <gasps> wow! A do-it-yourself pinball machine? Okay, we got to test it out first, right? Before Ryan tries it, okay? Make sure everything is working. Thank you so much, Combo! <laughs> All right, got my ball, the Combo ball machine. Drop it in the hole. Okay, and let it launch. One, two, go, boom, oh wow. Okay, this is definitely a challenge for sure. Whoa, oh no, oh no, what do I do? Okay, there we go, oh, okay, come on. There we go, come on, ah! Okay, that was my first try. I think I can do better. Okay, let's test this out. All right, let it launch. Oh wow, that was a good one. How long can I last? Oh wow, okay, great, oh what? Okay, you no, know, Josh, I'm starting to think, well, what if we bring the pinball machine back with us to the present? Then we could play our own game. Wait, I thought you said it wasn't a good idea to take stuff from the past. Well, I mean, as long as we return it. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Yoink! Oh, this is awesome! It's even more fun than it looks like in the video! Let me try. I bet I can get the high score. Wait, do you know what would make this even better? The, the DIY, DIY Buzzwire Buzz Focus, Focus Game Challenge for Kids! <laughs> Ready? Yes! Hey guys, today I'm playing my favorite video game, Pac-Man. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 I'm running away! I'm running away! No! Oh, I lost! That was so easy! How did I lose? Hmm, I'm gonna ask Daddy for help. What is it, Ryan? I'm playing Pac-Man, but I keep losing. Ah, that's because lack of your focus. I used to have the same problem when I was little. Okay, but what did you do to gain focus? Actually, Peck the Penguin trained me to focus. Why don't you ask Peck for help? Okay, I'm gonna go ask Peck for help. Ooh. Peck, Peck, are you there? I need help. Whoa, hey, Ryan. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> What can I help you with? So, I've been trying to play this game, but I keep losing. And Daddy said that I have lack of focus, so I need to train it somehow. Can you help me? Oh, of course. How about a Buzzwire Super Challenge focusing game to help you train? <laughs> okay, Peck. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ask Bree for some help on this experiment. Meanwhile, you should practice focusing and meditate. Okay. Heck, you rang? Oh good, now that you're here, you can build the ultimate Buzzwire Game Challenge! Oh, this one's one of my favorites! Yeah, this is great! That sounds like a great idea, but first, I think we should learn how to make a circuit. Let's go! A simple circuit consists of four main parts. A conductor, an energy source, an electrical load, and a switch. To make a completed circuit, the conductor wire needs to connect the negative side of the energy source, or battery, to the negative side of the electrical load, which in our experiment is a light bulb and buzzer. Then, the conductor wire needs to connect the positive side of our battery to the switch and the switch to our light bulb and buzzer. Now all that it takes is for the switch to close the circuit and BAM! We have power! This works because the energy flows from the negative side of the battery through the wire and to the light bulb and buzzer. Some of the energy is converted to power. The rest flows through the wire and the switch back to the positive side of the battery. When the switch is turned off, the circuit is broken and there's no power because there's a break in the flow of electricity. Let's see. On, off, on, off. All right, now that you know how it works, let's start our build. 
right, now the four main parts of our circuit is this wire, which is going to be our conductor, this battery, which is going to be our energy source, the light bulb and the buzzer, which is gonna be our electrical load, and this wire, which we're gonna use as our switch. Now, Peck is doing his midday meditation right now, so we are gonna go ahead and get started with the face and the structure of our build. We are gonna use hot glue and cardboard. Meditating. Um. So we're gonna start by plotting out all of our cardboard pieces to make our base and our structure. The first part is going to be the main part of our base. That's why it's gonna be so big, because we have to put everything on it. And then we're gonna make a little stand for our base using these two skinny pieces. And lastly, we're gonna make the walls for the outside. So now that we have all of our pieces bright and colorful, it's time to start our assembly. We are gonna stick everything together with hot glue. Now, if you're gonna use hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. It's really hot. I mean, that's in the name. I wonder if Bree is doing okay. The first thing we're gonna glue together is the base for our game. Now, we are gonna take these yellow strips and glue them on the back side like this. Now we're just gonna hold it in place while the glue dries. One side down, one more to go. Uh-oh, we're getting glue everywhere. This is why it's important to ask an adult for help. Now that that is good and dry, we have our base built. Now all that's left is to add the walls. Everything is nice and dry, which means our base is built. Now it's time to build our circuit. So we're gonna start by connecting our two positive wires that's gonna run from our battery to our light bulb. Now we need a good, tight, secure connection. So we're gonna twist and twist and twist and twist until it's nice and secure. Let's check it. Ooh, that is really nice and secure. Now we're going to route our combined positive wires into the positive section of the light bulb and carefully twist it around the screw. There we go, bend it around. Now that we have it bent around our screw, we're going to tighten our screw to secure that connection in place. After that's tightened, we should have a really nice secure connection. Let's test it. <gasps> yep, that feels good. So now we have our positive wires connected to the positive side of the light bulb. Now we're gonna take the positive wire that we connected to our light bulb and we're gonna connect it to the positive wire from our buzzer. To do this, we're going to have to do the same thing. Twist and twist and twist and twist and twist some more until we get a nice, secure connection. So now that that is secure, we're gonna fold it in half just to make it extra secure. And then we are going to make it extra, extra secure with some electrical tape. So we're gonna wrap it nice and tight to help hold our connection in place. Next, we're gonna take our negative wire from the buzzer and attach it to, you guessed it, the negative side of the light bulb. We're gonna do the exact same thing, thread it around the screw, and now we tighten up our screw to secure our connection. Once that's nice and secure, we're ready to attach it to our board. So now we have our circuit wired up. We've got our energy source, our electrical load, we have our conductor, which is the positive and negative wires connecting it all together. All that's left is a switch to turn it on. So if we take this wire and we use it as a switch and connect it, the circuit is complete. Now let's take our circuit and stick it to the base. All right, everything looks good, but this circuit is definitely not gonna help us improve our focus. But you know what will? 
adding lots of twists and turns right in the middle of our circuit. <laughs> you know what? In order to make this thing ultimate, this is gonna take a while. Uh, maybe come back later. One hour later. Ta-da! I have finished all of these twists and turns and ups and downs to create the ultimate focus challenge buzz wire game. This bad boy is gonna take some big focus to get through. As you can see, I poked little holes in the wall for the wire to go through. Now we're gonna make our switch. Now for this switch, we're gonna use a straw and copper wire. So we're gonna start by cutting our copper wire. Remember kids, ask an adult for help, especially when working with wire and things like that. Now I'm gonna use this glue stick to make a perfect little loop. We're just using it to shape our switch. There you go, that looks like a circle. Now we're gonna twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and perfect. There we go, ooh. So now that we have our loop, we're gonna thread it through our handle, which is this straw, and all that's left is to bend the end up and secure it in place. Now we have our switch. Now we're gonna put our switch in place, just like that. Ta-da! Now that our switch is in place, we've bent the wire using pliers and we're hot gluing it to keep everything in place. Now let's connect our coil to our circuit. We are gonna use a negative wire to connect to the end of our coil. Once we have it connected and looped around, we're gonna hold it in place with some electrical tape. So after we have our wire nice and secure here, we need to secure our two negative wires from the battery and the coil together. So we are going to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist some more and make sure that connection is nice and secure. We're gonna use more electrical tape to wrap around the beginning of our coil. This will allow for a break in the circuit and the start of our game. Ta-da! Now for my favorite part, decorations. The decorations are done. We added a start line. We added a focus meter, which shows being not at all focused all the way to focused. And then we finished it off with the finish line. All that's left now is to complete our circuit using these alligator clips. Hello, alligator. You know what? I could actually really use some help focusing. Sometimes I get lost in the middle of my... Middle of your what? Huh? Sorry? What? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Going anywhere. And then we're gonna connect our alligator clip to the bottom of our switch, making sure that it has good contact with the metal, just like that. And now it is complete. Oh gosh. I'm so radiant focused. Are we ready to start? Uh, I think we're ready to test it out. All right, let's test it out. That means it's time to get focused. <sighs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Extreme focus to the max. Dun 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 well, I'm obviously not very focused, but I think it's safe to say that this Gotcha. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, with this we practically have an entire cardboard arcade. Let's get back to the present. Come on. <gasps> this is amazing. I can't believe how easy it is to borrow things from the past. I know, right? And I'm surprised that there haven't been any weird changes here in the present. Yeah. I can't believe that nothing strange or unusual has happened since we started time traveling. You were saying? We're the Time Patrol. You two are in a lot of trouble for altering the timelines. Or whatever. If we don't act fast, 
every timeline that you interacted with will be destroyed forever. Uh, well, thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time after we deal with whatever this is. A quick round of DIY, buzzwire, buzz fun, fun game, game challenge, challenge for kids? kids?